So here, I've been asked to find the constants a, b and c, given that this cubic here is equal to this cubic here. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be following a process known as equating polynomials, or specifically the skill of equating coefficients. Essentially, if I represent this in expanded form, the coefficient of the x cubed on each need to be equal to each other. Same as the coefficient of the x squared, the x, and the constants. To explain that though, we first need to expand this out to represent it in general form like we've got here. So let me go ahead and do that. So now I've expanded out here, I need to collect my like terms uh, together so I've got it just with 1x cubed, 1x squared, 1x and the constant on its own. So my x cubed is already collected. I'm going to add together this 2b take a x squared. I'm going to add together this 2c take b x and then take c at the end here. So what I've now got is I've got this cubic here that's been expanded out. And what I know is this cubic here is equal to this cubic here. So what that means is the coefficients of my x cubes need to be equal with each other for this to be true. So this 2a needs to be equal to this 6. And that applies with every coefficient. So this x squared, the coefficient of the x squared, needs to be equal to the coefficient here. The coefficient of the x needs to be equal to the coefficient here. And the constant at the end needs to be equal to the constant here. So what we can in essence do here is we can create four different equations to try and help find what the a, the b, and the c values are equal to. So we can say that this 2a must be equal to the 6. We can also say that the 2b minus a must be equal to this 7. We can say the 2c minus b must be equal to the negative 19. And we can say that this negative c must be equal to the positive 7. So what we can do now is we can solve for a here, we can solve for c here, and we can use those to be able to determine what my uh, b value would be. So if 2a equals 6, therefore my a must be equal to 3. When my a is equal to 3, uh, my 2b minus 3 must equal 7. So that means my 2b must be equal to 10, so therefore my b must be equal to 5. My negative c is equal to 7, so that means positive c must be equal to negative 7. And I can check now to make sure that I've got it all correct by looking at when c is equal to negative 7, it should end up with b equaling 5. So 2 times negative 7 uh, minus b will equal negative 19. So that'll be negative 14 minus b will equal negative 19. Add 14 to this side will be minus b will equal, adding 14 will be negative 5. So therefore positive b will be equal to positive 5. And that has determined that I've done this all correctly. So what I can see here is I can determine what the values of a, b and c are. So therefore, my value of a must be equal to 3, my value of b must be equal to 5, and my value of c must be equal to negative 7. Now, the process that we've used here is known as equating coefficients. When we're looking at two polynomials that are equal to each other, for this to ever be true with these unknowns, the coefficients of each uh, degree must also be equal to each other. And we can use that information here to start determining what these unknown values actually are.